Hello there. This will be a video of the Edwards or EST, if you want to say that. It's the 7577A SS70W. Well, as you can see, it's obviously part of the integrity family of alarms. This is the speaker strobe component in white. Now let's take a look at the alarm itself. You got your strobe right here, your typical integrity strobe. And if we flip it on the back here, well, it's on its back now. We zoom in right there. As you can see, it's a 1575 Candela strobe. Now, let's take a look at the back, shall we? Now, wait a second. What are all these terminals right here? I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I hope you can see them. Oops. All right, so these two are for the strobe itself, and this is where it gets interesting. This one's for the common, for the speaker itself. This is where your audio signal sent in. And what are all these terminals right here? Well, this is actually your wattage setting. Like this one's two watts, this one's one watt, this one's a half a watt, and this is a quarter of a watt. So let's say I want a really loud speaker on the system. So first I would wire my negative here, and then my positive right here. Or if I wanted a 1 watt speaker, same thing with the negative right here, but I would have to go to this green wire right here. How about a half watt speaker? Well, it looks like this one was on half watt. Go to this one here, and then this one over here. And then the same thing with the quarter right here. Now, let's take a look at the label itself. Hopefully you can see it. I'm going to have to zoom out here a little bit. You can see it right in there. 7577A SS70W. Now, apparently it's a 15 candela strobe, but that could be just a generic label. So, this is actually the third one of these I've got. This is not one of the other two I've showed you before. But, it's a great addition to the collection, let me just say that. So first we're going to test the strobe of the device. So it's a 1575 Candela strobe, so looking right at it, it's going to be kind of bright. If you looked at it on the sides, rather, it's not that bright at all. So, without further ado, let's power up the strobe. Three, two, one. All right, you know what comes next. Yep. I don't know why I do that, to be honest. And let's show off the room lights. All right, figured I would show you that with the lights off, kind of to show you how bright it is. Maybe that's why I do it. And that was the strobe. Now to activate the strobe with the pulse station, we're just going to do that for now, I got the Edwards 276B. Now wait a second, isn't this supposed to be the 278B? I know there might be somebody that's going to say that. However, believe it or not, Edwards did in fact sell, and I think they still do sell, a single action version of the 278B series. Okay, you see the 278, uh, it's got the flappy thing right here, uh, the lift to pull thing, you basically lift it up and then pull it down. Well, this is the version without that. It came like that, I did not remove it. Uh, and yeah, it carries the model number 276B. Now I know there's a few other model numbers along the line, like 277B or something. But this happens to be the 276B, and it's here right now. We're going to focus on that. So, without further ado, let's pull it.
get let that go a little bit. Now to activate, reset it rather. There's a hex lock right. No, not hex lock. A flathead lock right here. You basically insert a flathead screwdriver up here, twist it, pop it open. This doesn't spring up. Uh, this this is just flappy like this. Now what you gotta do is to reset it like this. Obviously, if this were on a panel setup, this would keep going, but this is just a simple test setup. And then you just close it up like that. So let's now test the speaker itself. So I have the terminal, the one watt terminal wired up, so it's going to be one watt. Now keep in mind, whatever I'm playing, I don't have the EST voice evacuation messages, I hate to say it. So I'm going to have to make do with whatever I got. So without further ado, let's start off with the female firelight voice evacuation message. Here we go. May I have your attention please? May I have your attention please? The signal you have just heard indicates a report of a fire in this building. Please proceed to the nearest exit and leave the building. Do not re-enter the building unless directed to do so by the proper authorities. Alright, now on to the simplex voice evacuation message. Now it's very unlikely, I know, that you would hear any of these voice evacuation messages on a re real life system, but it could very well be possible. Uh, for example, an Edward system with uh, voice evacuation capabilities, it got Edward upgraded by either Firelight or Simplex at some point. So that's kind of what I'm simulating here in a way. As crazy as that sounds. It could be true, I just don't know for a fact. So now let's play the Simplex voice evacuation message. I think that's enough of that. But yeah, let's just say the panel got somehow silenced in the middle of that. So, let's move on to the next thing. So now we're going to flash the strobe and play a voice evacuation message. Now, the voice evacuation message of choice here is the female firelight voice evacuation message. I said voice evacuation message a lot there, didn't I? So, without further ado, let's say someone in the building pulls the alarm. Now the strobes are flashing. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? The signal you have just heard indicates a report of a fire in this building. Please proceed to the nearest exit and leave the building. Do not re-enter the building unless directed to do so by the proper authorities. Yeah, that was short, but gets the point across. Let me just do it again. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? The signal you have just heard indicates a report of a fire in this building. Please proceed to the nearest exit and leave the building. Do not re-enter the building unless directed to do so by the proper authorities. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? The signal you have just heard indicates a report of a fire... So let's say if that was going in a continuous loop, 
there might be an alert sound of some sort in between that. But yeah, let's just say that that's a continuous loop and I just silenced the panel. So basically the strobes would still be going and when the, the panels finally reset, the strobes shut off. So that was a little brief demonstration of that. So now let's activate the pulse station again, this time not only flashing the strobe, but playing something through the speaker. Now yes, I did keep the Edwards pulse station. Like I said, if it were a panel upgrade of some sort, and if they were conventional pulse stations, I'm sure they would keep the pulse stations. So, why not? So anyways, that's kind of what I'm simulating here. Without further ado, let's pull it. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? The signal you have just heard indicates a report of a fire in this building. Please proceed to the nearest exit and leave the building. Do not re-enter the building unless directed to do so by the proper authorities. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? The signal you have just heard indicates a report of a fire in this building. Please proceed to the nearest exit and leave the building. Do not re-enter the building unless directed to do so by the proper authorities. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? The signal... Again, like I said, there might have been a slow whoop to tone in between there. Uh, if this were an actual system, but I'm just playing an audio file. So now let's reset the pull station. The strobes would still be going if somebody silenced the panel. Somebody resets the pull station. Like I said, if this were a panel setup, uh, the strobes would still be going until somebody actually resets the panel. But then again, like I said, this is just a simple test setup, so I could at least demonstrate the alarm. Now, before I end the video, I'm going to have a little bit of fun with the fire alarm speaker. So basically, I got a microphone hooked up to my amp so I could talk through it, and you might be hearing a little bit of feedback now. So let's say, okay, we're going to test the fire alarm system, we're going to announce it to the general public. We could do it over a building PA system, or we could do it through the fire alarm speaker system. So, let me first say something like, We are now testing the fire alarm system in the building. Please disregard any alarms heard through these speakers. Once you are expected to uh, observe any alarms after that, we will let you know. Not the most professional thing in the world, but I just kind of improvised that. Now, I could say something else like, There's a fire in this building. Please leave the building immediately by using the nearest exit or fire exit stairway. Do not use the elevators, but use the exit stairs. And you might be hearing a little bit of feedback there. Or I could say something else like, The test is now complete. Please resume what you were doing. Or, My voice is coming out of a fire alarm speaker. How awesome. So that was my video of the Edwards or EST. Edwards, EST, it doesn't matter. They're pretty much the same company. It's the 757-7A SS-70W. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, and that'll be it.